30 minutes if you're late. If you're lucky, you may also purchase bags, food, and other assorted flea market items. Um, for inflated prices while you are here. Hey, I see you, the guy back there, listen up. Don't forget your girl on Valentine's Day. They have stuff for that. Okay, and this is Mr. Suit's office. It's usually empty, but students are not allowed in. Next door is the doctor's office. You had better be real sick to come in here. You may go to home. Miss Marla is tougher than any nurse you will ever meet. Now, this is the counseling office. You can cry, scream, spill your guts about your favorite dog that got ran over, and make up all kinds of crazy crackhead stories to the people that work here. Oh, hold on, I'm getting another call. by the 8th grade boys. The librarians always wonder why the pages or the issue is only about three pages long at the end of the day. Lots of page ripping going on. Oh yeah, you may also ch occasionally check out a book to look at. Reading is very important at our school. Don't, don't text here. That's a bad idea. Um, follow me. Nobody wander off. This is the ISS room. For some, it's actually more like a hotel. They check in, but seldom ever check out. Don't get caught talking in here. Talking or not, you have to sit facing the wall. It's kind of like a prison. Trust me, I've spent plenty of time in there building character. Believe me. Come on, you little people, let's move. Now this area is commonly referred to as the diamond. It's actually like the LA freeway, going four lanes and it's all crazy and hectic in the morning. Um, it's kind of chaotic. That's your lane down there. It goes to the sixth grade area. Mr. Sutherland, your new principal, lives down there. His office is lame. It's decorated with all this football stuff. But I have been his secretary several times. Now, next we walk down to the gym. Follow me. Did we lose some kids? I sure they didn't go down the seventh grade hall. Seventh grade was great both years. Don't get me wrong, but it's dangerous down there. There are turtles, snakes, and bears, and a bunch of weird bald guys like Mr. Manis and Mr. Doxy all over the place. What? Um, my name's Mr. Has Mr. Doxy, and he's not bald. It's true. A few minutes ago I saw him, and he had a little hair. But I'm sure by tomorrow it'll all be gone at the rate he's going. <laughs> Me and my homies could have done it way better for like 20 bucks with spray cans. <laughs> As I taught a PE class in here where you run, walk, and jog for a whole period, we have dances, which are tons of fun as long as you try to block out the teachers that think they can dance, like Mr. Hilton. <laughs> From, including cardboard pizza in the first line, nachos that have a similar appearance and odor to dog food in the second line, and third line, you have chicken four ways, um, baked hot wings, what they call real, doesn't look very done, and in a delicious concoction with pasta, and in the final line, what expired last week. Come on guys, this is my favorite area. The Fine Arts Wing, where you will sing off course, or off key, of course, in chorus, compose music by banging on keyboards and piano, and make roly poly people that are usually a cross between Shrek and Oprah, or fashion accessories out of duct tape and garbage in our art classes. There's the band room, something you might be interested in. I hear some sick drumming going on in there every day. And last but not least is the drama room, a great room for all those. All those drama queens out there. Come on. Well, it, huh. well, I hope you've enjoyed our tour of the building. Um, it's roughly three miles up and down each hallway, kind of like an airport. Just don't lose your luggage. I mean, your book bag. You probably won't see it again if you do. T 
tips are greatly appreciated. And as you exit, remember our slogan. If it's to be, it's up to me. Whatever that means. Enjoy your sixth grade year. And if you make it through alive, you will never be the same. 